All right, today I have got a TV license and letter fest. Me and Daz have collected together several letters. He's got three, I've got three. I'm going to read them all out. We're going to mull over them. We're going to um, not give advice, but like just let people know through experience what to expect if you're thinking of cancelling your TV license. Um, when these bully boys come around and try and uh, get you to talk to him. Um, so if you want to find out about all these letters, they're all different, they've all got little tweaks and little quirky things about them, all scare tactics. So uh, if you're interested in that, keep watching. Yes, there's a TV set on number five. It's in the front room. And they're watching Columbo. If you don't have a TV license, it won't take us long to find you. So me and Daz have got three letters each. We've been uh, saving them up for this TV license and letter fest. So uh, I'm obviously I'm gonna, where well, I can, I'm gonna cover up the names and addresses. So here we have um, the the red letters. Now these ones annoy me because there's nothing. All it says is the legal occupier with your address. The reason they annoy me is because a red letter normally, traditionally, is when you owe money. I don't owe the TV license and any money whatsoever. This is a threat letter. Big red letter, so all your neighbours and you know, if you if you're a bit, you know, they're, they're tarnishing you, really. That's, that's like saying you owe money when you don't. A red letter means you owe money, and they're misusing the use of the red letter. I wonder if that's a court case, misuse of the red letter. It's probably not such a thing because you know. So um, this one in the in the big red envelope. Um, that company, they get away with harassing yeah. people, don't they? Yeah, and they never, they never, they don't know your name, they never address you, you by your name, it's their legal occupier. Um, have a kiss, I ain't responded to the letters, there's no alternative but to proceed with the final stages of their investigation. And they've even got my address on the, on the front of this letter. Um, an office has been, an office has been scheduled, now I've been getting these letters for two years every month, this, I don't even bat an eyelid now, and just to reiterate what to do if anyone does turn up on your doorstep, when they identify themselves and they say TV license and shut the door, they might not say TV license and they might say Capita or whatever because these these are just stooges, debt collectors. Some of them are thugs and use dirty tactics. Not all of them, uh, but they're basically debt collectors working on a commission and they just want to get you to engage in a conversation with them. So you don't do that. You just say no thanks, shut the door. You don't even have to say no thanks. You just do not. Don't say I don't need a license. Don't say I, I don't watch TV. No thanks, shut the door. That's it. Tell them to go off your property if they're loitering about it. So the, these letters, despite all the threats of the legal jargon and mamby pamby, and they are they are misleading because um, they give you a little reminder of the law. And on the back, how to pay, to check if you need a license, school to so and so, so and so. Um, when do you need a TV license? So this is their official um, take. You need TV license. Your, your TV license lets you enjoy a huge range of TV. It covers you for all TV channels, pay TV services like Sky and live TV on streaming services like Amazon Prime Video. Now you don't need a license for Amazon Prime Video. This is trickery. So you could see live TV on Amazon Prime Video, and if you didn't watch it, then really you you, you, don't, need you don't need a license. Um, so they're insinuating. I think Amazon should bring this no, up. I think Amazon's live TV is another charge on top of the normal yeah. Amazon Prime account. So. Yeah, and I, this is this is hurting Amazon. I think the BBC, uh, they should take the BBC at court or whatever, or, or well, whoever's well, TV licensing is a separate company set up to protect the BBC. So but they're it, probably you know. giving them a good deal on products we've paid for yeah. in the past yeah. to be put up on their streaming services. As well as everything on BBC iPlayer, on any device. If you don't watch TV in any of these ways, please let us know. No, you don't have to let them know. As cobblers, t let them let them come to you and just tell them to go away. They they got no rights whatsoever. Um, and that says about getting concession if you're over 75, which you know they probably take that away soon anyway. So that's that's your bog standard typical threat letter, um, red envelope, um, outrageous. Um, okay, let's move on. Right, okay, what we got? So I've got a new one here, and I've I've had one similar. I'll get to that one in a second. So this one. Again, legal occupier, official notice. What's official? So, little window on the envelope telling you this is official. 
Oh, official. There's nothing official about it. They're not an official organisation. Uh, official bullshit, that's all it is. Yeah, pretty much. So, uh, OK, let's have a look. Official notice. Please read carefully in, 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 in red writing. You are breaching the Communications Act 2003 if you do not have a TV licence to cover you for. Watch new recording live TV or any channel or on any channel or device. Everything on BBC iPlayer. At my address. They didn't used to have the addresses on the front. I think they know people like me make YouTube yeah. videos and flash them around. Um, this is a little bit more honest. Watch new recording live TV. Everything on BBC iPlayer. No, live TV doesn't mean live. So this could be a trick again to catch you out. By insinuating you can watch live TV, mm. but you can't. So we get you can confess to it if they come to your door. That's all. This is all the trickery that go on. So live TV isn't necessarily live. That just means it's broadcast all at the same time. So if that's a scheduled program, everyone can watch it all at once. This is probably the best way to describe yeah. it. That is broadcast TV, which is considered live TV. Um, I don't know why so they should include reruns, of old shows, yeah. And yeah. Anything so, a um, if you said, "Oh, well, I only watch catch up," yeah, but if, if that's a scheduled catch up type thing, then you you do need a license. And I'm not advocating anyone to break the law at all. If you generally don't need a license, like myself, why well, pay the money? And um, on the back again, just tells you how to pay. So. Um, what was that official notice? So that's. But if you're still watching BBC propaganda, you've got more problems than a TV license and letter. I'll tell you yeah. that much. Yeah. No, they do ramp up the threats in these letters and stuff, and in most of them, them ones actually, that we can come and visit you any time, day, evening, weekend. Did you, again, that's designed to scare you. Uh, these ain't got that threat on. So these are these are actually getting better, Dad, because there's two now. They ain't had a threat of coming around any time, day or night. No, they're just the but, same big bold letters you break on a, a yeah, communication yeah. Back, and then in little. But I think TV licensing have been took to task. There's so many people complain now, and there's so many of these videos out there. Um, so this one, right, this is a new one, Dad. I've had one similar to this, a 10-day window. Right, so let's see what this 10 days is all about, shall we? You're doing a pair of few windows for 10 days? We're giving me, they're giving me a 10 day window to get correctly licensed. Well, I am. Correctly licensed, exactly. So. I ain't got a license that's correct for me. You should tell me you should, they should give you a 10 minute window because you're already licensed. Again, blah, blah, blah. But to watch TV live, you need to be covered by a TV license. So they're playing on that now, that yeah. live thing. They try, they're triggering and they try to trick people. Now, most prosecutions are women, mainly because they're probably more easily intimidated by these. These uh, goons who turn up, and they're probably nicer than blokes. We ain't got, we don't think nothing of shutting the doors. So they get lost, but women are probably a bit more diplomatic, and um, I don't know. They get dragged into conversations. I guess I'm not be be smirching women at all in any way, but most prosecutions are women who only got prosecuted because they confessed and entered into a conversation with these people. So no, no, no conversation, no prosecution, and don't quote me on it or. Hold me to task or tell me I'll give you legal advice because none of this is advice. Oh, playing BBC up on your 50 inch screen through. If they can see through your right. window and see you're actually watching live TV, they can then get a judge to sign a search warrant. But without seeing that or hearing it or anything and you enter into a conversation. Live TV. Well, like, there's so many exactly, ways exactly. to get stuff. So. Exactly. Okay, so it tells you about getting a license that, again, they don't make it very clear. Um, you only you only have until the 2nd of October to act before this window closes. Let's see what happens after that. If you don't get in touch, your case will be escalated to the enforcement team oh, in bold shit. writing. Shit. Damn, I'm squirting. Yeah. And they got me a uh, postcode, not my address. They've just got my postcode. Someone's coming to my postcode. They'll schedule, they'll schedule a visit. Why do they got to do that thing? So I don't talk to them. Okay. How they got to schedule a visit? Other than these fake schedules, where they are on yours, oh, you got to be in on such and such. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay, please turn over for more information. There's no, there's, they've withdrawn. They've withdrawn that threat of coming around any time, day, even weekend. Yeah. I think that was my video done that. That was. Uh, where do you get license? How to pay? How to check? Okay, so these letters are getting just as threatening, but changing slightly. So this one is, uh, this is one of yours, Dad. Are you shooting yourself? 
An official, an official no. investigation. No, it won't be the first investigation. Hope you don't, you. Know what? I can't read, so don't, fucking, don't scare me. Well, I don't understand English too well, so no. that's my excuse. I chucked my passport in the sea in the summer. Oh, I only speak Norfolk. Yeah. And, you know. Okay, official notice, investigation open days. I'm unlicensed property. Yeah. Right at the top in red lighting, red writing, unlicensed property. That's alright then. Wow, dead legal occupier. I'm not telling you the law. How do you think I'm a legal occupier to start off with? They don't. I could be squatting. This is an official warning that we're carrying out an investigation of your address. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck on that one. Yeah. We've asked you to contact several times, but you have not responded. This no. sounds like Keir Starmer, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, because I don't need a licence. This is Keir Starmer ordering you to, yeah. to get in touch with him yeah. when there's no legal requisite to do well, so. If that was a letter saying free the sausages, I might, I might have replied. Mate, but, yeah, know. yeah. There's still no record of a licence at your address. Yeah, I know, because I don't need one. There you go. The law is a criminal offence to watch or record live TV without a licence or on any device. Yeah, modern day TV shit. How you can stop this investigation. Yeah. And like I'll be watching the new Doctor Who any time soon. <laughs> Let us know you don't use TV receiving equipment. Yeah. This address. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Oh, boy, call on this number. We may confirm this with a quick visit. Oh, really? That will be real quick. Be Goodbye. Get off my property. Right, That's Daz. Were you in on the 25th of July? Was that a brown one? Or was yeah, it's a brown one, mate. It's a brown one. Did, were you in on the 25th of July? Yeah. Did you get a TV going no, come out? Wow. See, they keep breaking this. So this one. Will you be in on such and date? Them dates change. Yeah. A lot of these words change. The colour of the envelope change. And uh, it's all a bit pathetic, really, I think, Daz. So you know, I, 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 I have fun making the videos. And um, as there's no record of tea license or your address, you should expect a visit from an enforcement officer. Mm. Our officers visit an address every 10 seconds. Day, evening, oh, even go. weekends, the, the well, phrase well. back. Wow. And if no one answers, they can come back. <laughs> so can anyone? That's, the right That's a threat, isn't it? <coughs> so that's a lot of petrol money they'll be using. Yep. So you just basically can go answer the door and then they just keep coming back. That's their threat. Stop a visit before it's too late. Buy a license. Or if you moved, or tell them you don't need one. Have you got to tell them that's? No. Yeah, I've told them once. Mate, there's a visit approved on there, mate. You should be shooting yourself, well, really. Visit well. approved. Fake stamp, fake signature. If Scott listen, Robson, is it? If they listen the first yeah, time, they Scott won't have Robson. to come round, would they? Scott Robson's got a lot to answer for. I bet he's actually dead or something, or don't exist, mm. or whatever. What Jimmy McTaggart. Oh, no, the other one, McTaggart, or someone? The Trigger McTaggart. Trigger McTaggart. Oh, wow, this one. Yeah, under investigation yeah. pass. Oh, it's got your, oh, it's yeah, got your address. Know. Yeah, that's the one with that. I better hide the address, like, uh, official, notice. official notice. Please read carefully. You can't read, can you? No, I can't. My English ain't great, so I'll give it a whirl. We're Norfolk pumpkins. We can't read. Uh, you're breaching the Communication Act 2003. Yeah, if, oh, really. If. 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 To stop a visit. Yeah, but no, that, that breach of the communication things in big bold letters and then it goes into normal font. I got me at first, mate. That's fucking taking a piss. I, 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 do you know what? The first letter I got, I was a little bit, oh, I don't I'm know. I'm doing the Russian acts yeah. and I'm going to send yeah. them a letter I think, I think done so. like that and yeah, go, yeah, you're breaching yeah. the harassment act of. Charge them. If. Charge them. Send me another letter. Charge them 50 quid a letter yeah. for reading the shit. Um, right, okay, so this is pretty much the same threatening. Now, when I, when I got my first letter, Daz, I don't know about you, that's that all official now. Officers are going to visit, and you're a bit like, oh, I don't know. Um, and that's through watching videos on YouTube like this, um, and, and other people, not myself, obviously. Um, you come to understand that's all a load of baloney, that's that empire thing, yeah. you, do you know what I mean? That's, um, and there's people out there saying defund the BBC and there's these campaigns. You can defund it yourself. You don't need to join a campaign and get everyone to agree to do it. Just do it yourself. Yeah. Don't break the law. Don't watch live TV. Um, I watch TV for like three years. Um, so, um, hey, things are going. We might have to start to defund the councils. Well, that, that's all fake news anyway. That's all all scaremongering. They like, they just like to get you like all stressed out all the time. Um, you you'll have a healthy lifestyle without watching live TV. And there's plenty of other stuff out there to watch. You, you ain't got to starve yourself. Yeah, you ain't got to starve yourself of entertainment. And all the all the new stuff is wood crap anyway, yeah. isn't it, really? Let's face it. So, um, 
hope you enjoy these videos. We're going to keep making them, whether you like them or not. <laughs> we get we get letters every month. If we get a new one, we'll we'll, we'll print it out and make a video. Um, for the people thinking they're cancelling your license, um, just follow the simple rule. Don't talk to no one who come to your door. Say no thanks. Shut the door. Don't say I don't need it. I don't watch this. That do not enter a conversation with them, and the chances of getting prosecuted are about the same as winning the lottery. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, keep TV license free um, and don't break the law.